Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the mode from a frequency table. Now remember, the mode is the value that occurs the most within a data set. When you think mode, think most. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have a frequency table displaying data about bike ride distances. Let's say that a person tracked the distance of their bike rides for a month. Here are the results. So which distance, which value occurred the most? Well, if we look at our frequency table, five miles occurred twice, six miles occurred zero times, seven miles occurred six times, eight miles occurred five times, nine miles occurred three times, 10 miles occurred once, 11 miles occurred zero times, 12 miles occurred three times, and 13 miles occurred once. That means that seven miles occurred the most, six times. So our mode is seven, and we can label this miles. So the most frequent distance, the distance that occurred the most was seven miles. So that's our mode. Let's move on to number two, where we have a frequency table displaying the number of countries visited. And these are the countries outside of the country you were born in. So let's say that a group of people were asked the number of countries they have visited outside of the country they were born in. These are the results. So zero countries, seven people. One country, 13 people. Two countries, 11 people. Three countries, 13 people. Four countries, five people. And then five countries, four people. So it looks like one country occurred 13 times and three countries occurred 13 times. So those two values occurred the most. So we have two modes here. Our modes are one and three countries. So one and three countries visited occurred the most. So if the data set works out to where there is more than one mode, that's perfectly okay. So there you have it. There's how to find the mode from a frequency table. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.